Desire is not something that you have to create. Is there somebody without desire, however religious you are? People have tried these teachings with you and they have not worked, isn't it? <laughs> they told you, you must give up your desire, you must be satisfied with what you have, you must be content. Has it worked even for one human being on the planet, I'm asking? Has it worked? A teaching that does not work is just rubbish, isn't it? But it's gone around for too long. Desire is not something that you create. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are, there is something within you longing to be little more than who you are right now. Yes or no? Yes? yes. If that little more happens, what? Little more. If that little more happens, what? Little more. If that little more happens, what? I can go on like this. Why you're going bit by bit, I will make you the king or queen of this planet. Will you remain fulfilled? No. You will look at the stars, isn't it? So there is something within you which is longing to become boundless, to become infinite. Now you're approaching the infinite in installments. This is not a good way to go. Can, in installments, can you ever get to the infinite? Can you count one, two, three, four, five and one day say, this is infinite? You will only become endless counting, you will not know the infinite. This is not the way to approach the infinite. So the desire is just this, there is something within you which is always longing to become boundless. If I set a boundary for you, suppose I imprison you in let's say a five by five cubicle, you'll feel horribly imprisoned. Tomorrow we'll liberate you into a ten by ten cubicle, you'll feel wonderful for a day and again you'll feel imprisoned. Next day we'll liberate you into a hundred by hundred cubicle, you'll, be, you'll feel great for three days, again the same thing. It doesn't matter where I set the boundary, the moment you can feel the boundary, you want to break it, isn't it? This is not something cultivated within you, this is not your entrepreneurial spirit, this is the nature of life. Life wants to be something more, all the time. How much more? Limitlessly more, isn't it? So more is not what you're looking for, all is what you're looking for. If you want to take all, can you conquer it? If you want all, if you want more you can conquer. If you want all, can you conquer it? Can you earn it? So you need to look at it now. If you want all, what should you do about it? If you look at that, you will naturally turn spiritual.